Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Starfield. We've got about 12 minutes of gameplay footage. So I do want to give you my impressions rundown. I've watched this a couple times. I'll compile a little video here for us. Good old Bethesda logo. And I must say, I'm actually very impressed by this. Very impressed. Skeptical. And we'll get into that. All right, and there is about actually two minutes of solid gameplay in all of this. There's a lot of CGI cutscenes, uh, some other stuff as well. This is due out uh, probably around March 2023. And I must say, I'm very impressed. Graphically, this is very nice. Yep, and there you have it, Starfield. The UI is very minimalistic. This is actually one of the first planets you go to. I believe it's Catan, and it looks very nice. Game gave me some serious uh, No Man's Sky vibes, but it, after playing, I played Fallout 76 for like, sadly, like 400 hours. Fallout 4 for six, 700 hours. I see a lot of it in there. Which is, you know, that's okay, that's okay. Setting down. Looks gorgeous. These are, of course, rendered cutscenes. I must say, they're using the old uh, hero engine as well. Now we'll cut to the gameplay. Very simplistic UI. It does look like we do have oxygen. Uh, we've got health meter. We do have weapons. Uh, not unlimited ammo. Frag grenades as well. I do believe that's our robot companion as well. The abandoned research facility is in this direction. And here is the No Man's Sky bit of it, because there's resources. I, I can almost say like a la Fallout 4, scavenging, etc. As you know, I might not know, uh, Todd Howard, basically when Fallout 76 started, he kind of oversaw the beginning of it a little bit, but then he took off for Starfield. And we have a free thrasher, I believe. I know it's the interesting thing, you not hostile. You could actually just let him go. Or fight him if you wanted to. A four on four, five on one would probably be a terrible idea. And I imagine, though they do get into this a little bit, it says you can land anywhere, go anywhere. I, oh, I don't believe it on some of this. That sounds a little too good to be true. See, scavenging resources. A little bit of drilling. You might see in the UI they're a little bit coming up as well. There's a thing for outposts, but we'll get into that. Look at that, that's very pretty. They're using the other It would appear that pirates of the Crimson Fleet. Are modified using the uh, Fallout 76, the hero engine, their modified version of that. They are developing a new engine for Elder Scrolls 6, so. This is the last time we're probably going to see this engine in effect. But the gunplay did sound and look pretty good. So we have stealth as well. Didn't see any stealth icon though. I really notice any uh, nice grenade effects there. I have seen some destructible environments in this as well. We've got a little bit of a shoddy. Looking nice. Yeah, things that bounce around, shut around. This one thing I really didn't kind of like in this though was the uh, lock picking system. I guess it does make sense. I kind of almost wanted the old Fallout system, but hey, it gets the job done. Doesn't really look complex. And we got an automatic shotgun, it looks like. So some of this does feel like a little bit of reskin fallout. The uh, UI in the bottom left also shows enemies, and the red is there as well. I haven't really seen the O2 CO2 bar go down. So I don't know if we, maybe that's, there is a survival mode as well. They didn't really touch on that. And here we got jetpack. 
definitely in Fallout 4 and Fallout 76, of course. And now this is uh, New Atlantis. For the other locations you'll be visiting. It does look like a really modded out uh, Fallout 4. Uh, but it looks good, though. It is a graphical step up from Fallout 4. Welcome no. to Constellation. We haven't we seen have anything of the dialogue talk. UI or any of that yet. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of but all. But those are Fallout 4 faces What's just done a little better. There? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. And I do believe they ripped off the storyline to Mass Effect. What they're building. Such an artifact. We You'll had visions. We're solving that puzzle now. Ah, oh, very weird. So, you found something? The new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw As far it. as I know the from visions? this, hopefully they took nods from Fallout 4. The artifact and we're going to be a silent protagonist, I hope. Many scattered across the galaxy. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it I remember his voice from Fallout. Of course, the settled systems is full of groups with other priorities. So we have other factions as well. The fleet doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UCC Steph. Together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. Let the men and of the Brotherhood of Steel. Guys, we're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only way oh, so we could be Crimson Fleet as well. Oh, very interesting. Yes. The path ahead may be dangerous. Zero G combat, big monsters. We are not stopping. Most Dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end of this road. Yeah, graphical, I mean, I, I, I kind of got a little bit of a chill. Like, I should know better, but I think Todd got me again. But wait, there's more. This character customization said Todd yet. Howard says it's you can customize all the, the best. I mean, you look. this looks slightly better than Fallout 4's one, but it is basically about the same. This You'll looks a bit a better. That gives you three starting skills. Yeah, so you get a bunch of different backgrounds. And one thing I really love is that you can get some different traits, debuffs, you know, other stuff like that. I think I want to point out here as well when you go down there. You have one, you have a small little uh, house. So there are outposts as well, so this is very interesting. Different outfits. The skill system is basically Fallout in space. And the skill tree, basic, but... It and goes with the UI style by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting systems from running challenges. Projects this is a single player, I'm pretty sure. To crafting weapon mods and needed to And that just looks like a nicer version of the crafting in Fallout 4. And you can build your own outposts. Yeah, this is straight up from Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. So I think they probably learned a lot there. You can choose where and how to build each one. And you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. Yeah, so you get characters as well. But I think you can get... I'm going to send some heavy monetization somewhere in this. There's going to be stuff you can buy. Now this one had me really intrigued. This is actually a very nice option. So I don't think you can design the interiors as far as I saw so far. We'll have to keep our eyes up for something more. And yes, you can completely customize the look. Yeah, the and customization layout. on this is nice. How far the ship can go, jump There's range, mobility. Modules, ship manufacturers, and more. Because this actually really surprised say, me. So cool. This has space combat. This. Something I don't think it's really in Bethesda's wheelhouse, but it's it looks... It's not just how the ship looks, it's how it performs. There he is. Engines, Tell me those sweet little lies, Todd. Systems, because, yes, you can fly it. Lie to me, Todd. So it looks like a CGI cutscene you take off, but then you're in the air. Now, in theory, can you go from... I don't think you can go from planet, like you say you want to go to this planet, you want to go to another planet, can you fly there? 
I don't think so. I think there's a jump, a warp, a loading screen, something like that. But they did say you can land anywhere on a planet. Obviously, you're not going to land on a gas giant, but... And the space combat looks adequate. It looks decent. It looks good. And this is all rendered cutscenes on the outside, but... Oh, it's rather simplistic, but it kind of goes with the art style. And I would rather have something that works rather than a flashy UI. There must be a third camera angle as well for this third person. And obviously there are going to be bugs at launch, but I think this could be a hit. Still very skeptical. It's going to be on the Xbox Game Pass, so you're not going to have to worry about that. I, that's one thing I would probably wait for. I know they're going to probably be selling collector's editions, but Xbox Game Pass. At least you're not going to be out any money if this Let's does go bad. Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. You can land in New Atlantis, but you can also see. Land this is where I think the lie comes in because. It's going to land on probably planet. not any anywhere, it's but a lot of places. From barren but resource heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Yeah, here it is. Here's the lie. Over 16 times the detail. Planets, all open for you to explore. There's only one way this could we have been done procedural generation. To see what you find. It's very beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is Starfield and everything we know so far. Uh, let me know what you think about in the comments below. It's, I'm hopeful. Uh, there was a delay in the game, of course, that is going to be out uh, March, tw uh, sometime in March 2023. They get pushed back, though. Todd Howard did say it is actually pretty much done. Because I, I don't believe anything he says, though. But, man, I have to tell you, I do want to believe. And it looks, in theory, this looks great, but also Fallout 76 looked great as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will keep you covered on Starfield.